everyone, this is Ashley here at the Speedway Public Library, and this is our very first Teen Talk. Now, it's not going to be much different from our book talk that we've been doing for the summer, um, but instead of just the book talk, we're going to be looking at a couple of books and then doing a small craft. Uh, one that's, you know, easy and simple to do at home. So without further ado, let's take a look at our very first book. Our first book is A Song Below Water by Bethany C. Morrow. Now this is about two girls who they consider themselves to be sisters, um, but they're not sister by blood. Um, they're more of, you know, sisters of the heart. And um, they are both black and they're both struggling. Um, they're both having, you know, family issues and going through, you know, the struggles that are present right now. Um, you know, it's a very current issue uh, book, but it has a fun um, fantasy element to it. So Tavia, um, she has a magical voice that, you know, she's been taught to kind of hide and not really let loose. Um, and then her sister Effie is something else. <laughs> it's uh, not quite said at the beginning what Effie is, um, but I wouldn't go as far to say that, I would not say that she's human. Um, so, you know, Tavia is um, a siren, which, you know, siren is kind of another word for a mermaid. Um, and so she has this kind of connection to the water and through um, the song and the music that she hears. So the two of them, you know, there's, they're trying to save themselves from, you know, these issues that are happening around them and to them. Um, you know, all these struggles they're trying to get past, but at the same time, their sisterhood is being, you know, um, tested. And, you know, Tavia is having to control her voice. And, um, you know, they have to try to prove, you know, is sisterhood the best magic of all? So that is our first book, A Song Below Water by Bethany C. Morrow. Let's take a look at our second book. And our second book is The Invention of Sophie Carter by Samantha Hastings. So this book is about two sisters, uh, Sophie and Mariah, and it is uh, takes place in 1851. And the two sisters are identical um, twins who have been orphaned. So they're constantly being bounced, you know, from house to house. Um, but the two of them really, really long to go to London. Uh, one wants to see the great, great exhibition. The other one wants to study paintings and they have an aunt who lives there. And though they've been writing her, she hasn't really you know, been answering. So she finally does. And she tells them though, that she only has room for one of them. Well, what do you do when there's only room for one that you're identical sisters? You both go. <laughs> so they decide that they are both going to go and they are both going to pretend to just be one sister. So for a while, you know, they have it under hand. Um, everything's going as it should. Um, you know, they've narrowly escaped, you know, getting caught a couple of times. And then two handsome gentlemen come into the picture and they start to realize that they might not have it as under control as they think that they do. So once again, that is The Invention of Sophie Carter by Samantha Hastings. Both of these books are currently available. Um, so you can come in and check them out. They are on the shelf. Um, if they are not there, um, or if you want to check online first, you can do that by going to our website and clicking on my account, putting in your library card information and uh, placing a hold or just seeing if it's available. All right, so now we are going to go ahead and take a look at our craft. So the craft that we are going to be doing today is a candy wrapper. So just a cute little, you know, closed container. And when you rip it open like a candy wrapper, oh, maybe do it better. It didn't work that very well. Not good at ripping, but rip it open and you have a prize inside. Um, so you can put candy in there, you can put, you know, little prizes. Um, you can make them as like little gifts for, you know, family and friends uh, for them to do. 
So let's go ahead and see how to make a paper candy wrapper. To make our craft, we are going to need a piece of construction paper. You could also use scrapbook paper or anything that has a fun pattern. A pair of scissors, a black pen or marker, and a pink marker, as well as some glue, which you can either use Elmer's, um, like the liquid glue, or glue stick, and then also some tape. And then last but not least, we need what we are stuffing our candy wrapper with. All right, first thing we need to do is cut our construction paper. So bring this up a little. So we're going to first, we only need this to be about, about what, three, four inches here. We're gonna cut it, um, if you're looking at, looking at it, um, landscape mode or <laughs> landscape, you know, side to side. Um, we're gonna just cut about this much straight up. So try to keep it as even as possible. All right, so we're just left with a little piece like this. Next thing we're gonna do is fold it into thirds. So we're gonna fold it over. And then this side will fold over here. Now we're not gonna glue it down yet because before we do, so here are the openings, we're gonna fold these sides. So do not fold the sides that have the openings, but fold the sides that are already um, folded. And we're just gonna fold those inward about a centimeter, about that much. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then we're gonna unfold them. And we want these folds to go inward. So what we're gonna do, if we unfold it, where that crease is that folds that way, we're gonna fold it the other way. And then fold it back down. And then where we see that last crease right there, we're gonna fold that back towards the middle. So that gives us this kind of V-shaped fold right there. Let's see. Oops. Like that. And then we're gonna want it to do that to the other side as well. So I said that middle, middle fold, we want to fold that one the opposite direction and then bring it back towards the middle. And then that last crease, we're gonna fold back towards the middle as well. And that gives us the inside creases. Now, we are going to go ahead and fold that, or uh, glue that middle piece down. So you can, if you want, just take some glue and put it all over that side. Um, it will take a minute to dry though, so because of that I am going to tape it um, just because we don't have, you know, five, ten minutes just to sit here and wait. And I doubt you want to hear me just sit here, you know, talking for five, ten minutes. Random topic time. All right, so now we have that. The next thing we want to do is draw our face. So our cute little kawaii face. We're gonna do one circle on the side, and then a V, or um, if you think of math, a less than? Yeah, less than. So a V angled to the side on the other side, like that. Now with the circle, we want a smaller circle inside, and then all this part of the um, the first circle that's not on the inside of that small circle, we are going to color in with our pen or marker. Like this. So get that all colored in. Like that. And then we're going to make a mouth. Our mouth is going to be, we're not going to bring it down, we're going to make it just below where the eyes end. 
So we want a straight line across and then a U connecting those lines like that. Next thing we need is our pink marker. And we are going to color the inside of the mouth. And then under each eye, draw three little lines angling away from the eye. So bump, 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 like that. And there is our kawaii face. All right, now we need to close up the ends. So let's start with the bottom one. And again, we are going to tape it, uh, we're gonna glue it. I recommend using the liquid glue just because it's easier to get into um, these corners here. So just put all your glue down. Okay, try to get everywhere. And then we're gonna close it up. Now again, you will need to wait for it to dry. So because we don't have time necessarily for that, I am going to go ahead and tape my end. I don't recommend taping it, um, only because it doesn't look as pretty. So like I said, I'm only doing it because I don't have time um, to be able to sit here um, while we do this. All right, while you're waiting for that one to finish, you will go ahead and put your prize inside. So I have one of the little, little mochi creatures, just a little, little bear. And I'm gonna stick him right inside, boom. All right, and then I need to close up this one. So take your glue and you're gonna do the same thing as we just did. So go ahead and put glue all through here. And then close it. And again, I don't necessarily have time to be able to uh, wait for the glue to dry. So I'm just gonna put a piece of tape on it for now. And then while we are waiting for this one, I'm gonna actually go ahead and grab the other one I've already made. <laughs> so this one, the seams are already, for the most part, dry. So the last thing we want to do is um, create the little jagged edges. So you don't wanna go too far because we didn't we didn't put glue, you know, very far. So you're just gonna make very tiny little jagged edges. So just back and forth, up and down. Let's see if we're lucky. Yep, it seems like for the most part it is staying closed. So you just kinda have to wait for that glue to dry. So once you've done one end, I can actually go ahead and take my, oh no, it did open. Let's see, there we go. I'm gonna take my tape off and then we can go ahead and do that to the other side as well. So bump, bump. There we have our little candy wrapper. And so I'm gonna go ahead and take my tape off. Boom. There we go. And now you can go ahead and rip it open or give it as a gift. And your friends or your family or whoever it is you're wanting to give it to can open it up and find the surprise inside. So that is how you make a little fun, cute candy wrapper. And that is our book talk and craft for today for our teen talk. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you again in two weeks for another teen talk. Thanks.